Okay, we've got a treat today. We've been to Greg's and Greg's has recently launched a vegan sausage roll. Today we're going to taste test the vegan sausage roll and we're going to put it head to head against Greg's regular pork sausage roll. So yeah, the vegan sausage roll. Now what could that possibly be? I will put a link in the video description to any information I can find about the ingredients of this sausage roll, but we're not gonna look at ingredients at the moment. We're just gonna taste test it. We're actually gonna just taste what is the experience of eating this sausage roll. Now, if you're not from the UK, you might even not know what a sausage roll is. So let me quickly explain. It is a cylinder of pork sausage meat, which is ground pork, spices and flavorings mixed together into a cylindrical shape and then rolled in puff pastry usually, but sometimes short crust pastry, and then baked. And it's just a handy snack. It's a very, very popular lunchtime snack for people who are eating on the go. So as I said, I'm gonna put this head to head against Greg's regular sausage rolls. Now, to start with, well, let's get a couple of these things out onto the plate. Both of these are fresh. I've been to Greg's this morning. And if you hear my stomach rumbling, that's because this is breakfast for me. So we've got the vegan sausage roll on that side. And we've got the regular Greg's sausage roll on the other. So, obviously they're quite different in appearance. Part of that is because Greg's have a strategy where all of their products have a different pattern on them. And so their chicken slice and their steak slice have a different lattice pattern on the top of the pastry to help the staff in the shop recognize the products and make sure they sell the people the right things. Diagonal stripes on the regular pork sausage roll and kind of a crosswise lattice on the vegan sausage roll. The pork sausage roll is a bit more glossy and a bit more glazed than the vegan sausage roll, but both of them, the pastry is not tough or, any, or hard. It actually seems quite flaky. I'm not going to worry too much about cross-contamination here, but let's have a look at the vegan sausage roll first. Now, you might know that Piers Morgan recently had a taste of one of these on TV, and he made a whole show of him putting his head in a bucket and spitting it out. To be honest, that's the best use of a bucket I've seen in many a year, covering up his face. But anyway, so let's have a look. And then the pork sausage roll. So let's compare the two. So pork sausage roll on the right here, vegan sausage roll on the left. There is not a substantial difference between the appearance of those two things. Both of those are within range of what I would expect to see inside of a sausage roll. This one's maybe a little bit pale, and this one's maybe a little bit uh, uniform. But anyway, so let's have a smell of this one. Yeah, well it smells really savoury. Yeah, smells really tasty, actually. So, and a sniff of this one. This one actually has less savoury aroma than the vegan sausage roll. That's a bit of a surprise to me. So, we're going to taste now. So, we'll taste. I'm just going to cut. Normally, you'd just pick this thing up and shove it in your face and bite a great big chunk off of it. But what I'm trying to do here is keep the thing in one piece so that we can actually see what the inner texture of the thing is and... There goes my stomach, and we can just get a better idea of what we're actually dealing with. So we're going to taste this vegan sausage roll right now. Mm. And that is actually not bad at all. That's nicely savoury, nicely seasoned. It's got a good little bite and a chew to it. And yeah, I think if you if you gave that to me blindfolded, I wouldn't know that I was eating a vegan sausage roll because sausage rolls are a bit of a thing really that by the time it's been processed to this level that really, well, you can't really tell that you're eating meat. So anyway, let's have a taste of the pork one now. Yeah, okay, I can definitely taste pork there. Now, that's the difference you're gonna get and that's a hard thing to replicate. I can taste the flavors that I associate with pork fat, but I don't know. Let's have another taste. I'm going to I'm going to taste these alternately so that I'm trying to give them a fair go. Do you know what? I'm going to say that of the two of these products here, the vegan sausage roll has the more interesting flavor. It's just a little bit more seasoned. It's a little bit more punchy in its aroma and tastes. 
Sure, the pork sausage roll tastes of pork, but actually of the two products, I would say that's the tastier one, the vegan one. That's a bit of a surprise, isn't it? Anyway, let's just do one more taste test here because what we need to do now is think about how these things are normally eaten. Now, sausage rolls and products such as this, most often are eaten with sauce of some sort. So I've got some HP sauce here, which is brown sauce. I've got some tomato ketchup here. This is a bit of a sneak preview of my condiments review that's coming up. Don't worry, these will be in the review. We're not uh, depleting that reserve. Okay, so we've got HP sauce and we've got Heinz tomato ketchup in those two little blobs there. So first off, I'm just gonna taste this with a bit of brown sauce, which is how some people will choose to eat it. Yeah. And we'll do the same with the pork based sausage roll. And now the same with ketchup. Okay, now I'm gonna say that once you start putting condiments on these things, like I have done here, there is no meaningful difference between the experience of eating the two different things. There is just no quantifiable difference in the taste and texture experience that makes any sense between eating these two products. I am just really surprised by that. I kind of expected this one to be a bit dry and a bit uninteresting and maybe a bit grainy or something like that. Obviously I know what the pork sausage roll was like, but I kind of expected the, the vegan one to be a disappointment in some way. And do you know what? It isn't. I am thoroughly impressed by that product. I mean, as impressed as I can be about a sausage roll. Let's be, let's face it, these foods, this is not gourmet food. This is a kind of staple for your van drivers and your, your people who are working hard, who want something fast and handy that they can eat maybe in the seat of their vehicle or actually while they're walking from one place to another. This is, this is not, as I say, gourmet food. This is food on the go, but it's good food on the go and it makes you happy. And... I'm going to say that the vegan version makes me just as happy as the pork version. That's interesting, isn't it? So there we go. That is my entirely subjective taste comparison between the Greg's vegan sausage roll and the Greg's regular pork sausage roll. I hope this video has been interesting. So a massive well done to Greg's for firstly attempting this and secondly succeeding so well. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.